When working with exponents, the quotient rule is related to division, or dividing out common factors. Let's look at an example before we actually talk about the quotient rule itself. I think that will make it a little better to grasp or a little easier to understand. When you have a to the fifth divided by a to the third, notice that the bases match. This is the same as multiplying a to itself five times, all divided by a multiplied to itself three times. As you all know, if we divide out common factors, there are three sets of common factors that reduce out or divide out, and we're left with a to the second. Another way to do this, which is a lot easier and a lot faster, is by just simply looking at your problem and asking yourself, well, how many factors will divide out? There's a common factor of three a's that will divide out. So if we rewrite it like this, notice that we end up with exactly the same solution. The common factors are the ones that we divided out here, and there were three sets of them. And that's what we subtracted, the exponent in the denominator of three. So if we look at the quotient rule, the quotient rule states that if you have a to the m divided by a to the n, you get a to the m minus n. So let's work some examples, and hopefully this will become a little more clear. In example one, we have a to the seventh times b to the second divided by a to the third times b. In this case, only the bases or the a's will match and divide with common factors, and likewise the b's would divide with b's. The a's would not divide with a's, or the b's would not divide by with a's but that could be somewhat intuitive. It's just important to note. If you have a to the seventh, that's the same as a multiplied to itself seven times, and likewise a to the third is the same as a multiplied to, it, to itself three times. So the common factor would be a times a times a. So we would write a to the seventh minus three times b to the second minus one, because there's one b in common to both the numerator and the denominator. Likewise, there's three a's in common to the numerator and the denominator. And so, our final simplification would be a to the fourth b. Notice that if it b is to the first power, we just leave it as a regular old b with no exponent of one. In example two, we have leading coefficients that are numbers. So we treat them as if they were fractions and rewrite them in their reduced form. 8 and negative 6 have a 2 in common, so when we reduce them, we get negative 4 thirds. m to the seventh over m to the fifth have five m's in common. So we'll rewrite that as m to the seven minus five, n to the fourth minus one. And when that's completely simplified, we have negative four thirds, m 
to the second n to the third. Just remember, with quotient rule, it's always important to remember that all you're doing is dividing out common factors.